and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host today, Carrie Coogan. And today we're pleased to be bringing you our segment from Union Station, Historic Union Station. And we're at one of the exhibits inside Science City. And we're joined today with Kansas State Senator Steve Fitzgerald. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you for having me, Carrie. I appreciate it very much. So it's a new year. How's the new year treating you so far? I didn't know it was going to treat me. I've been paying my own way most of the time, <laughs> but I appreciate it. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Um, look, I know that uh, there's a lot of topics we want to get to, but there's one that I wanted to bring up right, uh, right away, and that is um, I know that you have a bit of a concern about judges in the state of Kansas. Yes, yes, I'm glad. Um, can you talk, talk about more that. about what some of your concerns are? Well, my main concern is, is that judges uh, are a very important part of our entire system of government. Everybody recognizes that, and they, they, they should be. But the problem is in Kansas that uh, some of the judges just aren't representative of the people and the people's will. And this is a problem that we addressed last year with the appellate judges. And we changed that from being a, uh, a method that was used before to a new one, which is uh, very simple. The governor who appoints who he wants and the Senate confirms. Uh, the, the advantage of that is, is that the governor is elected by the people, responsible to them, and so are the senators. So you have the people's elected representatives directly involved in selection of judges. That's not the case with the Supreme Court, but it needs to be. We need to allow the governor to pick who he wants to be on the Supreme Court and have the Senate confirm them. Again, this would represent the will of the people. We, I would have to go back and answer to people why I voted to confirm or not confirm a uh, Supreme Court justice. Is there something specific that's happened uh, in the state of Kansas that's led you to, to lead this charge? Well, I'm not leading a charge. This is, this is something that a lot of people are looking at. And uh, we had a bill on this last year which uh, didn't go, uh, wasn't brought up in the House. I believe it'll go again this year, and I think it will be successful. And what this will do, this is a change to the Constitution, and uh, what we'll be voting on is to whether or not the people of Kansas should have the opportunity to vote on that change that I just outlined. Uh, I think we need to do that. The other thing is, judges overall, as we've seen lately, have become more and more bold in what they're doing and uh, making their own law to some degree, ignoring law to some degree, not responsive to the will of the people. Uh, not the least of which is an example that we've had recently here in Johnson County, Kansas, uh, when a judge ordered uh, a county clerk to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. That's in direct contradiction of the Kansas, Supreme, uh, the Kansas Constitution, which was passed in 2006 by the people uh, overwhelmingly, over 70 percent. And yet it's very clear in the Constitution, and yet this judge who took an oath to uphold the Constitution of Kansas on his own authority directed that it be violated. And that's a, an egregious example of what I'm talking about. We've got judges who need to be responsive more to the people. So what do you think needs to happen? Uh, it's difficult to say. It's a case-by-case -case situation. There are a couple of things. Uh, one is there is the possibility we could change the statute to allow a recall of judges. Right now it's prohibited by Kansas statute for recall. We could allow a recall as well as a uh, retention vote for judges, which I think would be helpful. And there's also the, uh, the possibility of impeachment, which I think needs to be considered more. Very frankly, I hate the, the fact that we have to go into this, but it looks as though we have a uh, branch of government that needs to be made a little bit more responsive to the people. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time today. Thank you so much for coming in. I, I appreciate you taking the time to come into Union Station today. Well, it's my pleasure entirely, and I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's all the time we have on Newsmakers today, but we'll see you back here again next time.